Here we have a 100 kilogram steel wheel with a 50 millimeter radius on a ramp. We want to find out when this wheel will roll down the ramp of its own accord. And we're given that the rolling coefficient of rolling resistance is one millimeter. So we have this wheel and it's sitting here with a weight of 100 times 9.81 on some ramp with some angle theta. We know that anytime you've got a surface like this, you're going to have a normal force and you'll have a friction force that acts along the surface. Now just for the moment, what I'd like to do is turn this so that we can look at it with the flat surface so that N is straight up and F is along the surface, which is now horizontal. That means that my W has gone from being straight up and down to being at this angle, which is going to match theta. That's the angle of the, sh the slope itself. Now, if we define this point here at the bottom as to be point, z point O, point O is a place we could consider taking the moments. If you take the moments at that point, the cosine part of the weight, the vertical part, goes through point O, N goes through F, O, F goes through O, but the W sine theta component has a radius of the wheel, and then you've got a situation which you cannot have. have. So luckily we also have rolling resistance, and if we look at what that looks like, we have the same W acting at the same angle theta, but now at point O, we do not have R acting there. We have R acting over here at some distance B away from O, so let's call that point A. And this is going to be the resultant force R. The resultant is the same thing as N and F. It's just taken to be the resultant of the two. And for the moment, let's assume that we don't know what that angle is. So this angle, we're going to call that alpha. B is given in the problem. This is the coefficient of rolling resistance. This is one millimeter. And the radius of your wheel is also given as 50 millimeters. So this is what I get with rolling resistance. Now, if I take the sum of the moments at O, I no longer have the problem where I have to have W equals zero. Specifically though, what I want to do is I want to consider the moments at A. What do I get if I take the moments at A? I have W cosine theta. The cosine part is the vertical component, acts at a perpendicular distance of B. And I have the W sine theta part, which is the horizontal component, that acts at a distance of the radius of the wheel. And that's all I have. So one in one direction, one in the other, those have to be the same. And if you solve, you've got sine theta over cosine theta, the W's are going to cancel, you'll end up with B over the radius of the wheel. Sine over cosine is, of course, tangent. And you're given B and RW. So this is 1 over 50 is tan theta, which gives me theta is 1.14 degrees. Now we can consider what alpha must be if you wish. If you take the sum of the moments about the center of the wheel, I have R cosine alpha acting at a distance of B. That's the vertical component. And R sine alpha acting at a distance of the radius of the wheel. That's the horizontal component. That's all I have. Those have to be the same. And then I have B over RW is tan alpha, or alpha is equal to theta. That's sort of a sidebar. This is really what we were looking for. Assuming that the wheel will roll and not slide. We've been asked to find what that theta should be so that it will roll, but it's important to notice that if it slides first, you can't get to theta equals 1.14. It's going to slide when theta is greater than phi s. Remember, phi s here is the um, angle of static friction. Specifically, we define this as when the box on the hill will slide down it. Phi, tan phi s is equal to mu s, or phi s is equal to the inverse tangent of that static coefficient. <laughs> mu s for surfaces that have wood on one side, and really most any metal on the other side, as long as it's dry and clean. These end up being around 0.2 to about 0.6. And if you plug that back in and take the arctan, you get values for phi s between about 11 and about 31. That's about when this ball would slide. Well, we found that it would roll at theta equals 1.14. So we can say it rolls at theta equals 1.14 degrees.